Spotlight is an incredibly useful tool that comes bundled with macOS. It lets you search apps, files, and the web, quickly define words or do math calculations, and so much more. But many Mac users, especially so-called power users, swear by Alfred, an alternative third-party search app. But is Alfred better than Spotlight? And should you switch? Let's find out. Right off the bat, there is one distinct disadvantage to Alfred, the price. There is a free version, which is free, but there is also a paid upgrade known as a power pack. Now, before I tell you the price, I just want to state that I think paid apps are often treated a bit unfairly. Apps take time to develop, and when you don't have ads, which Alfred doesn't, making money is actually quite hard. Oftentimes, a one-time purchase is justified in the end, and it's really only a few dollars. You'd pay more to go to the movie theater for just one day, and no one really complains about that. With all that said, the Alfred Power Pack is 40 US dollars. Admittedly, this seems quite high, but I'll leave that for you to decide at the end of the video. For this comparison though, I will be using the paid, full-fat version of Alfred. It just has too many features to pass up for this video. Once you have Alfred installed, it and Spotlight both have the same basic functions. Trigger them with a keyboard shortcut, type in a few words, and hit enter. Most people primarily use this to launch apps, and in that sense, Alfred and Spotlight are almost identical. However, Alfred often feels just a bit faster with instant previews instead of Spotlight, which has a bit of a half-second delay. This is also made better in Alfred by the apps list updating instantly, whereas Spotlight just takes a brief moment to load. Obviously, searching for files is another thing that people do frequently, and once again, both Alfred and Spotlight function almost exactly the same. Simply type in part of a file name, and both will find it pretty quickly. However, I do prefer Alfred's file search mechanism. By default, you must type space, to activate this file search mode, which then prevents other unrelated results from showing up. This also increases the speed of the file search a little bit. By comparison, Spotlight often shows Google searches and other unrelated items as well as the files I'm looking for, and sometimes these are actually above my file results, which is just a bit annoying. It's also a noticeable amount slower once again. Fortunately, both services have a way to preview files, by default, it's Shift in Alfred and Tab in Spotlight. Overall, Alfred is just a bit better at searching for files, although Spotlight isn't too bad either. Now, before I get into more advanced features, it seems fair to take a look at the aesthetics of both. And I gotta be honest, Spotlight just looks way better. It fits with macOS in a way that Alfred doesn't, even with tons of customization. The subtle blend into the background, a little bit of drop shadow, and the smooth animations are just really great. Alfred has some nice options, but nothing quite makes it look as good as Spotlight. At this point, it becomes less about comparing features, and more about what each can offer over the other. Spotlight has a few nice features. It can show website previews, provide some basic calculator functions, define words, and so on. But there isn't much you can customize. The Spotlight Preferences panel is quite limited. Once you understand the basic features, that's really all you can do. And this is where people like to recommend Alfred. And I gotta be honest, once you set up Alfred with the options you prefer, it's hard to go back to Spotlight. Opening up Alfred Preferences shows you a wealth of options, starting with the very basics, choosing a keyboard shortcut. Venturing over to the Features tab, and there is a lot of stuff. And this is where Alfred gets super useful, but it can also seem a bit daunting at first. Anyways, most of it is fairly self-explanatory, but there are some extra useful features I feel are worth explaining. Clipboard history is super useful for accessing stuff you've copied in the past, terminal integration is great for quickly executing terminal commands, and snippets allows you to save parts of text to use later. This is great for quotes, symbols, emojis, and the like. You can also control music, integrate certain apps like 1Password, as well as search specific websites instead of just Google, which is what Spotlight offers. These features alone would make Alfred better than Spotlight for some people, but if we look over here, we can see the Workflows tab. Workflows are a paid feature, but they are essentially like micro apps that are ran through Alfred using a keyword or key letter. Now, you can create them on your own. It's actually quite easy. There's no real coding involved, but most of the workflows I use are downloads from the internet. There are several websites dedicated to Alfred workflows that I'll put in the description if you're interested, and Here's just some of the workflows I use. 
First convert. This is a simple unit converter with just tons of units. It's just a convenient little feature. I also have word search, which allows me to find synonyms, antonyms, rhymes, and more, all from the Alfred search bar. This is way faster than Googling for these words, and it's just super convenient, especially for me as a high school student. I also use Google Suggest, which basically just puts a Google search bar directly in Alfred, as well as emoji search for finding emojis. However, I've saved the best for last. First, Reddit search. This allows me to find subreddits through Alfred, which is honestly way faster than searching for the slow, bloated, and ugly Reddit website. And then down media. With a simple command of DA for audio or DV for video, I can instantly download YouTube or other videos directly to my downloads folder. This is incredible and convenient, and I bet there are a lot of people that could really benefit from this, as you don't have to go through sketchy third-party websites. These are all super useful workflows that I use quite regularly, but this is only a tiny sample of what's available. If you can think of it, there's probably a workflow that does it, whether that be searching emails, duplicating tabs, or even uninstalling apps. In addition, Alfred has theming options available. You can pick from a built-in theme, download one from the internet, or even make your own. I find the default theme quite ugly, so I use a modified spotlight theme. I'll leave links to most of the workflows and themes from this video in the description, if you'd like to check them out. Alfred just has a lot of features, and for power users, this is great. But that isn't to say Spotlight is bad. It has enough capabilities just without the extra power, speed, and customization of Alfred. And Spotlight is free, that's certainly an important distinction. But if I had to choose between Spotlight and Alfred, I would recommend Alfred 9 out of 10 times. While it does cost a fair amount, the degree of utility is just incredible. If you haven't already, you should definitely try out Alfred just for a few minutes. It'll definitely be worth your time. And you know what else is worth your time? Subscribing. If you want to, no pressure. If you did enjoy watching though, it'd be great if you leave a like on the video. That'll boost it and maybe you'll see the next one. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.